What I've done here is I've created a test. This is a fencer's test. This is not a scientific test. This is not an engineering test. This is a Sean King fencer's test. Like, let's just tear some shit up. What's up guys? Sean King with Mr. Fence Academy. What are we gonna do today? We are gonna plant some posts. We are going to wet set some posts and dry pack some posts side by side in the same dirt soil at the same exact time. And we're gonna pull these things in a few weeks and see what the difference looks like between the two. I need to name each one of them. That's Roger, there's Pete, Oscar. This guy looks like Kobe to me. Let's go set some posts! Come on now. It's cold! That's what it is. Woo! Yeah! We are gonna solve the old myth. Will concrete get hard in the ground if we had no water? What do we need? I gotta dig some holes first. I'm gonna fire that up. Before I dig any other holes, I wanna see if that's the right depth. 29 inches, so a little deeper. I'll go a little deeper. There you go, the holes are dug! There's eight holes dug 32 inches deep, 10 inch diameter. So we're trying to keep them all consistent. Some holes will have more concrete than others because of the size of the post that we're putting in the hole. But the dimension of the slug, it'll be the identical between all of them. We're gonna bell half of these and see how much of a difference it makes the holes that aren't belled. It's pretty obvious, it's gonna be hard to pull, right? So this post is a five inch square post, but has a keyhole at the bottom, it's four inches diameter. We have 160 pounds of concrete in this hole. Okay, it's 11 inch diameter hole, 32 inches deep. And you can see you are 160 pounds of concrete, only filled the hole up to seven inches from virgin ground. So when I hear guys tell me these one bag or 60 pounds on a hole that's 32 inches deep, I don't see how it's possible. There's two bags right there. Round posts don't compact very well the way we did those. So what we've been experimenting with is compacting a hole without the post. So guys, we're gonna put the concrete in the hole with no post. And these posts are driving in. Does the concrete get hard in the ground if you don't add water? Kind of like is a tree fall in the forest and make noise there's no one there to listen to it. Is this really happening right now? Working on the fence crew. I knew there was a better way to build a fence. Boom! I know you just saw it with your own eyes. I know you don't believe it. Uh, Sean King was mixing concrete. It happened. It's okay. Like, just take a deep breath. All's be right in the world. The fence industry is not gonna crash. It's okay. Level? Because they have to be level. If they're not level, then the concrete footer will fail. Is it plumb or is it level? It's plumb, isn't it? We've got to get technical with it. Gonna make them all plumb. Your job was to verify that we did this even. We're not playing any games. You saw the holes were dug properly. You saw they were set the same. They were set at the same time. You saw which ones were wet set and which ones were dry packed. You saw which, which ones were gonna be driven. So, you know, you got my back. All right guys, I'll see you back here, right here, in 23 days to pull these posts and see what the heck's going on under the ground. Woo! Smack your mama! The last but not least, this one's got to be Dan. And his last name, Wheeler. Dan Wheeler. The most famous post of all. When's the last time somebody set posts just to pull them out of the ground for fun? in the front yard. 
I might be the biggest fence geek on the planet. We got sloppy together. <laughs> Put that on TikTok. <sighs> Boom.